everyone. So, uh, it has been absolutely, absolutely bonkers. It has been terrifying, actually, to be frank. So, the uh, discount online flight agency that I used screwed up my information, and I only discovered this uh, three hours before my flight is set to depart, which luckily was delayed, because if it hadn't been delayed, then I probably wouldn't have been getting on any flight today anyway. We're just past security, and uh, gonna be getting to the gate here in a second. I fly now to Toronto, and then Toronto on to Frankfurt tomorrow, so my previous flight itinerary from the previous video not valid whatsoever anymore. So now it's here to Toronto, Toronto to Frankfurt, and then Frankfurt on to Doha, Qatar. But uh, yeah, this discount agency screwed up all my information and uh, they had to do a whole pile of calling around and it literally has come down to like the 11th hour to get it fixed. Now they're not sure if it's gonna be fixed for my flights back to Canada. So I might have to do a whole pile of phoning around once I get into Qatar to make sure that everything is going to be okay for me to leave that country. So <laughs> stay tuned for that update as well. Um, but luckily everything seems to be good to go. Just have to do an overnight in Toronto. Unfortunately, I have to miss the Tunisia-Denmark match uh, on the 22nd, but I definitely get there in time to see Canada-Belgium uh, on the 23rd, and I guess that really is what matters most. So, by the way, I hope you dig the uh, the new do. Did that for uh, for Big Red. So, <clears throat> hopefully the boys in red see it in the crowd and get inspired. But uh, we'll uh, we'll catch up with everyone once we get to the next airport. Forgot to mention too that I managed to get a whole pile of uh, dye on my nice white shirt. They said it wasn't going to come out anymore, but just adds to the day. Just in line here at uh, Air Canada customer service, they're going to end up comping me a hotel room for the night and a couple of meals. Don't fly out to Frankfurt until tomorrow at four o'clock. Uh, so hopefully we'll get to catch a couple of World Cup matches while I'm here. Um, so far so good <laughs> on this new itinerary. So uh, fingers crossed that everything goes smoothly tomorrow and something crazy like a freak snowstorm doesn't blow through Toronto before that next flight gets to lift off. So here we are uh, waiting to get picked up by the shuttle to head off to the uh, Toronto Weston Airport Hotel. Um, that's where I get to spend the night. Should be fun, I guess. <laughs> tomorrow it'll be a job of just getting back to the airport uh, and maybe catching some World Cup matches if I'm lucky and then hop it on that flight to Frankfurt at uh, 4 p.m. So the voyage continues. So uh, they ended up setting me up at the Weston Toronto Airport Hotel. Here we are. Uh, so surprisingly I got up on the 15th floor, which is the very top floor. The Prime Minister's room is just down the hallway from where my room is. So kind of bizarre, but uh, interesting nonetheless. So. All's looking good for flight out to Frankfurt tomorrow and then onwards to Doha immediately after that, so here's hoping for the best. Wow, there are a ton of people on this flight. Holy smokes. Just an absolute ton of people on this flight to Frankfurt. So here we go. Well, here we are in Frankfurt. Just uh, waiting for uh, my gate to officially be assigned and for my seat to be assigned. Uh, neither, of that, neither of those pieces of information are uh, on my existing boarding pass, so hopefully that gets resolved sooner rather than later. Uh, it was uh, nearly an eight hour flight from Toronto to Frankfurt, uh, and I think there's another two and a half to three hours still to go to get to Doha. Uh, yeah, it's been quite the uh, quite the airport hopping experience so far. But uh, hopefully that'll be uh, that'll be all solved here in the next little bit. So uh, next time you see me, hopefully it'll be uh, once I'm in uh, once I'm landed in Doha. Hey, 
man. Hey. We are, we are right now with uh, Jim, right? Yeah, yeah this Jim is Afi. He's from Saskatchewan and uh, Afi is from Toronto, Ontario. And we are very excited. Like, uh, right now in Frankfurt Airport. And, yeah. And uh, we are heading towards uh, the car. Yeah. Uh, and it will be exciting. And I'm watching the first game with uh, Belgium, right? And, yeah. And it's exciting. You know? And I'm also a Voyager too. Yeah, he's a Voyager too. That's even yes. better. <laughs> What's up everybody, this is Felix Rivera, originally from Brampton, Ontario. I live in the US now, but I gotta support the home country in the World Cup. First World Cup in 36 years. Our boys are ready, we're doing it. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Two nil in Belgium, baby. Hey, I like it. Yeah. 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 All right, here we are, we boarded the flight on our way to Doha. This is gonna be crazy. Football is passion, let's go. <laughs> Sorry if this is a little bumpy, I'm a little tired still, but here we are. I'm on International Airport. And uh, yeah, everything is World Cup, everything here. It's pretty incredible. So, yeah. That was a longer flight than I thought. That was, how long was that flight? Five and three quarters an hour? Yeah. Basically Five six hours, hey? Yeah, it's wild. Anyway, now we just gotta get through customs and get something to eat, get to the apartment and hit the sack. 